Persuasive speech isn't just about throwing facts at people. It's about swaying minds and sparking action. Whether you're rallying support for a cause or trying to sell a product, knowing how to structure an awesome persuasive speech is key. In this video, we'll be covering what persuasive speech is all about and how to structure it. Persuasive speech is like a secret weapon for getting people on board with your ideas or opinions. It's not about being pushy, it's about being persuasive. You have to use all the tricks in the book, emotion, logic, and credibility to win people over to your side. And unlike informative speeches that focus on providing information, persuasive speeches seek to influence the audience's attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors. Like every speech, persuasive speech has an introduction, body, and conclusion. At the heart of every persuasive speech lies the introduction. This is where you need to capture the audience's attention and pique curiosity. It also serves as the foundation for the rest of the speech. Within the introduction, there are three elements to keep in mind. The hook, the thesis statement, and establishing credibility. When it comes to an effective hook, begin with a starting statistic, a thought-provoking question, or a compelling story. The hook sets the stage for what is to come, compelling the audience to lean in and listen. Here are some examples. Do you think universal basic income is a viable solution for poverty? Or a fact like less than 1% of the Earth's water is usable by human beings. Just make sure your hook aligns with the topic of your persuasive speech. Following the hook, the introduction transitions smoothly into the thesis statement. The central argument or position that needs to be advocated throughout the speech. This thesis statement serves as a roadmap for the audience, guiding them through the key points and arguments to be presented in the body of the speech. It provides clarity and direction, ensuring that the audience understands the purpose and focus of the speech from the outset. To make it simpler, the thesis statement is the answer to the problem you are presenting and the one that you are going to pursue your audience throughout the speech. In addition to the thesis statement, the introduction also offers an opportunity for the speaker to establish credibility and rapport with the audience. Do this by introducing yourself, your qualifications or your expertise on that topic. Next up is the body of the speech. With the foundation laid on in the introduction, the body of a persuasive speech is where the meat of the argument resides. This is where the speaker presents their key points supported by evidence, examples, and persuasive techniques designed to sway the audience's opinions and beliefs. Each point is presented logically and coherently, building upon the thesis statement and reinforcing the central argument of the speech. In presenting their arguments, speakers often employ a variety of persuasive techniques, such as appeals to emotion, logic, and credibility. Speakers can evoke empathy, compassion, and urgency by appealing to the audience's emotions, making their arguments more relatable and compelling. Similarly, by presenting logical arguments supported by evidence and examples, speakers can appeal to the audience's sense of reason and logic, persuading them through the power of rational thought. Also, establish credibility through the use of expert testimony, statistics, and real-world examples where speakers can enhance the persuasiveness of their arguments, making them more credible and trustworthy in the eyes of the audience. Throughout the body of the speech, speakers need to address counter-arguments or opposing viewpoints, acknowledging or refuting them to strengthen their position. By anticipating the audience's objections or concerns, speakers can preemptively address these and thereby reinforce the validity of their arguments and remove skepticism or doubt. Finally, we have the conclusion. This is the final opportunity for the speaker to leave a lasting impression or encourage the audience to take action. In the concluding segment, the speaker summarizes the main points emphasizing the key arguments and evidence presented. The thesis statement is restated, 
reinforcing the importance of the speaker's position and providing the closure to the speech. The conclusion often ends with a strong closing statement or call to action, urging the audience to take specific steps or adopt the speaker's viewpoint. This call to action serves to motivate the audience to act on the speaker's message, transforming passive listeners into active participants in the cause or issue at hand. In crafting a persuasive speech, it is essential to adhere to certain principles and guidelines to ensure effectiveness and impact. Speakers should strive to maintain a clear and concise communication style, avoiding unnecessary jargon or complexity that may confuse or alienate the audience. Additionally, speakers should be mindful of their tone and delivery aiming for a balance between confidence and humility that fosters engagement and trust. Finally, speakers should always remain respectful and ethical in their persuasive efforts, avoiding deceptive tactics or manipulation of the audience's emotions or beliefs. And that's it. That brings us to the end of our video on how to craft an awesome persuasive speech. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more.